Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm doing back to back four reviews today. I have done earlier, <clears throat> sorry about the voice, I have done three videos before. So today I'm gonna actually do seven videos. I'm trying to rush and finish this work because I have a lot of fragrances pending to finish the reviews on. And I got so many uh, niche samples I wanna show you. Recently, um, um, my good brother Ifran Bhai gave me this bunch of Joe Boy samples as well as Rania. Some of the niche samples are in there. There are like a lot of them inside. So thank you so much Ifran Bhai. As well as I have one tower fragrance to review tonight out of the two he gifted me. Uh, these two are like a sample, official sample of latest releases. So I'm going to be reviewing the Le de El Alps Suisses. So Swiss Alp Mountain theme fragrance. I, I really want to talk about this one. The other one would be... Um, I think less Anes uh, 25 BIS. I don't know what this is, <laughs> modern vintage. I really have to check out the name. But yeah, let's uh, try to focus on House of Pakuraban. So Pakuraban has a lot of fragrances. They are designer house. They do mostly crowd pleasing, sweet, long lasting, beast mode, sort of like a youthful kind of fragrances, kind of sometimes boozy, a lot of sweet fragrances, you know, clubbing. So the fragrance today, I really wanted to review this, this Pure Excess Night, okay? There's one fragrance I did not buy, but I did have the original. This is Pure Excess, and Pure Excess, my bottle is almost done. I think about good 15 ml left. So these are really beautiful bottles. The new one you're gonna see is Pure Excess. Night would be all the way blue. This is trans transparent here. Very heavy glass base, nice little bottle. Just the night version with the cap will not be attached like a, like a Zippo lighter. You can take off the whole cap. So that's different. And I just tell you one other thing the excess name came from this original excess is this one so now they have a new excess new black excess a lot of excess and pure excess i think then they borrowed the name so that's basically it these fragrances are at this point a little bit more expensive because they're newer i think goes for 100 ml goes for pure excess night will be like 75 dollars in bangladesh around that so you can buy them from usb page if front buys page uk shopping from bd so this a sample I bought it from St. Paul Seduction yesterday. No, day before yesterday, I think. And uh, I've been testing it. I just know I just like it a lot. So I want to talk about it uh, and see what you get and explain the smell to you. Let's spray. Let's go two sprays. And these are really, really nice atomizers and nice bottles. I would recommend I'll leave the link below. You can see his list and you can uh, order some of your favorite decants. He actually has a lot of fragrance in his collection. So yes, wow, this perfume, uh, let's put the sample down. This perfume, it's really, really lovely. It, <sighs> I think first of all, let me tell you, like I'll put it like this, this is an improvement. I wrote this in Fragrantica. This is an improvement upon Pure Excess by Pakoraban. This is the second one from this line. And uh, Pure Excess, what this one did for me is a boozy, vanilla, sugary kind of fragrance. It's so boozy, it's so strong. I mean, this is strictly cold weather scent, by the way. And when I used it once in summertime, I regretted it because it choked me really, literally. This is so powerful. Longevity is just dangerous. <laughs> and this perfume is just crowd favorite. If you ask for out of these two, which is a better performer, I would say Pure Access, the original one. It still has great push. And uh, performance wise, this is better. But smell wise, I actually prefer Pure Access Night. Why? Because this is much better soothing. This is much more, they sort of cut down all that boozy liquor feel that you got from the original one. And they replaced it with some sweeter notes, kind of like a gourmand. Um, you can think of, not coffee, but kind of like a chocolatey cacao they put in the dry down, which makes it kind of like more gourmand-like. Uh, vanilla is still there. You can still get the lavender sort of feel. It's like a sweet perfume, uh, less sweeter, more uh, gourmand-like, more dressed up so you can um, if original one you rock for the clubbing this you can rock for your dating purpose it is so good in cold weather little bit like let's say even 21 to 2 degrees you know like slight bit of breeze cloudy skies and just going for a drive just put some on your wrist here just go one on your neck okay and that's it two to three sprays you're good to go you're gonna get great projection great performance from this trust me it has good push, it has this beautiful sweetness. Um, the booziness, thank God, is gone, but the rest of the good stuff still remains. So, Belal Sharibai told me he likes it a lot, and I can see why. Uh, is it a full bottle worthy? Hell yes. Check out Pure Excess Night, I really like it a lot. And I think this is gonna be, uh, 
actually a better pick for you if you're looking to wear something more for yourself you don't want to show off but if you don't want to show off i think go with the original pure excess this is much more attention seeking perfume okay otherwise uh, this is my pick you know like more romantic more lovely pure excess nine overall i'm giving this a 10 guys i like this a lot so i do not get, give 10 to everything this one definitely deserves it for a designer pretty damn good so pure excess nine gets 10 out of 10 time for third review for the night bye bye